and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shireen. I'm an interior designer in New York City. However, I'm coming to you today from Seattle, Washington. I am on location wrapping up a project. We are currently working on something that I'm very, very excited to show you. I am going to nail this, or at least I'm going to try to nail this, or I'm going to have to nail th some things together because I have to figure it out at this point. I like everything. It is not Welcome back to my channel. I am Green Shireen. You can find me on Instagram where I am talking about interiors until I'm turning green. Today we are working on a commercial project out in Seattle, Washington, and it has brought me all the way to the West Coast to get it wrapped up. We are opening in just a few very, very short days and COVID has me in a situation where there are a lot of shipments and deliveries that are not here and that won't be here by the time we're opening the doors, but the show must go on. So never fear, I am here. I am going to nail this, or at least I'm going to try to nail this, or I'm going to have to nail th some things together because I have to figure it out at this point, but it's gonna be fine. The clients are super happy with the design. I just have to, you know, pull it together and make it happen at this point. And these are the things that happen. We get things that are shipped improperly, we get the wrong thing, we get the wrong color, we get broken things, damaged things. And those are the things that your designer helps mediate and navigate for you and on your behalf. So I'm excited to be here a few days in advance in order to be able to do that. Blessed to have the opportunity and I can't wait to show it to you. So let's go see. It's your girl, Green Shireen. I am on location right now in Seattle at TAME, which is the latest project that I am working on. So excited to share with you. Two fabulous ladies are starting up a bomb hair salon here outside of Seattle in University Place. These are the moments where you don't skimp. Make the extra trips to the store, make the extra copies, of whatever digital prints that you're using and make sure that you have enough to go around. Very few times am I a maximalist and this is one of those times. When it is time to style, I throw everything in the cart. Check your schedule, make your plan, and that is how you can sign on your deadline. Don't forget to stay sugared up. I know you've heard it, measure twice, cut once, but even after measuring, once I put something up, I also tape it down to make sure that I'm happy with the alignment and that it's justified the way that I want it to be before doing a final placement.
work with local vendors to reduce shipping times. This graphic was incredibly made and so durable. I'm super confident that it's gonna last a long time on their floors and purchasing from them locally meant that I was able to pick it up instead of being worried about shipping. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope, you, <laughs> I hope you're enjoying seeing all of this crazy. We are working through this to the best of our ability. I am so excited to have you spend this time with me and be on this journey. And I briefly interrupt the one room challenge and everything that I have going on back on the east side to talk to you about what's happening over here on the west side. Virtual design works for me only to an extent, but when it comes to finishing touches and styling, like I just have to be there. I have to be there in order to do it myself and, and wrap it up and get the photography just right and all of that. I am super excited to be working on this project. I think I've said I'm excited a hundred and something times, so I'm gonna stop saying that, but I'm gonna show you what is going down. When designing on a deadline, don't underestimate using what you have. A can of spray paint can transform picture frames, outlet covers, numerous things and makes such a huge difference. Check out this reception desk. We actually purchased this second hand and we were able to use an air sprayer in order to put a fresh coat of white on it and it turned out incredible. Always get more than you need. Buy more books than you need. Buy more vases than you need. Buy more picture frames than you need. Buy more hardware than you need. More than likely, there's gonna be something wrong with one. Maybe it fits a little funny or it doesn't screw in the right way. Buy more paint than you need. We didn't run out of paint here. That's part of the design for the powder room, but buy more paint than you need. So here's a secret. When you see those perfectly styled bookshelves and cases, they were not styled that way the first time around. I guarantee you that it takes a whole bunch of play and a whole bunch of manipulation in order to land on what you exactly want to do, which is why having more is better because then you can change your mind and put something else or change it entirely. This went through multiple iterations and at the end of the day, the items that landed on there were not even the ones that were on there on day one when I started. Some things like ambient light, you can never get enough of. So buy more click lights. These click lights were just uh, bought in a multi-pack and we got tons of extra just in case I wanted to change around what products were lit. So that is what's happening over there. It's just a lot, it's a whole lot, but this is what you get a designer for, to mediate that for you. So please like, comment, subscribe. If you like what's going on, if you are scared for me, you can be scared for me. And I hope to show you the opening images soon when we get them back from a photographer. Big congratulations to Tia and Ashley on Tame Beauty Bar and their launch. I just love to see my fellow women entrepreneurs out there killing it in business. And I know that they are gonna do fantastic things over here in Seattle, or the Tacoma area to be exact. Hire a designer. If you take your business seriously, hire a designer. It is well worth it, worth every penny um, and the headache that it takes to even put all this stuff together. So you just give them the job. Got it. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so thankful for you. You could have been anywhere on YouTube, but you chose to be with me, and I appreciate that. I am thankful for you, and I will see you next week, next Thursday to be exact. Chat soon. Bye.